what's happening YouTube how's it going everybody Aquaporn back with a little more for you like to start off the video by giving you a one gun salute to Google Plus I hate Google Plus I don't want a linked account I just want my YouTube channel and shoot my YouTube videos quit trying to force it down my throat I can't be the only one that feels this way just leave me alone I don't want multiple accounts just to shoot my fish tank videos so leave me alone I don't want to be in a circle I don't want any of it so leave me alone go leave me alone Google Plus I hope I'm not the only one who feels that way I might just be showing my age and the fact that I don't like change because I'm old anyway that's not what this video is about it's just to kind of bring you up to speed with what I've been doing and as you can see I have made some moves on my controller build here I built a little acrylic box and painted it black that's hiding all my wires my heat sinks my power supply my step downs my Arduino everything's tucked up away in there and I also mounted my screen for the Arduino and that's my touch screen so let's go over some of the touch features I've been working on uh, I've been working on the pH I do have the code written but the Atlas Scientific Probe there's too much electronic noise I have to figure out how to isolate that circuit and uh, I don't know how to do that quite yet I'm still researching it but let me grab my little pointer stick and I'll show you some of the screens I've been working on okay so so far this is kinda of how I wanted it to be I want to be able to walk in the room and look right up and see my temperature right off the bat what my pH reading is and I've always had the clock in there because I said if I can't figure out how to get this thing to work at least I'll know what time it is so I've been working a lot on the temp screen I've got all the temperature sensors plugged in up top and uh, let's go to that screen first alright so I've got four temp sensors now for this system the first one up here is the tank uh, tank temperature what it is in the tank I've got minimum values of 77 and uh, 85 plan on writing code that will set an alarm of some sort if that goes below or above those two these here are my heat sinks the lights are just coming on now so these values are these temperatures are still pretty low but as the lights ramp up these do get up to about a hundred hundred and four I think is the highest I've seen it just yet and then the ambient temperature in my sump let's see the focus is really going in and out on this I have no idea why so that's what I've been working on I've got the pH going as well as you saw in the last video I have uh, set up my outlets Now these buttons are green it doesn't look like it on my camera but those work really well turning them off and on that's the return pump as you can hear turned off these I'm going to change the names on these and make them a little bit more generic because there's a lot of guys out there that want to use this code so I'll make them a little more generic for everybody out there now let's open her up up top so you can see how clean I made it look. Whoa! Look at how nice and tidy that looks up here now compared to what the mess of rat's nest I had before. So we'll start over here on the right. Everything's being powered. Now this is redundancy for all you who've been following the videos, but if you're new, this is what it, how it's going down. Right here I have a 400 watt, 24 volt power supply it's powering the whole system the LEDs my uh, relay boards everything and I'll be hooking fans and stuff and that'll run everything come to the center the Arduino is right here underneath my uh, shield for my touch screen I've changed up my drivers I am now using Meanwell LDD 1000 drivers instead of the lead C drivers I kind of had an accident and blew those up the lead C ones that is and uh, Mar speed thank you again brother supplied me with the four up boards I just had to buy the drivers 
to uh, to run some new drivers and these drivers are definitely superior to the lead seat now the lead seat weren't bad you know and it kind of plugged in these you hit uh, right into as a shield right into your Arduino but these you have a little bit more freedom with so I'm powering them with the the meanwhile drivers now back here is a prototype board or proto board that I did so you can see all the the PM pins for the LD, LEDs right here down here that's where my PH Pro plugs in uh, over here these are for my outlets that's pin A8 through A15 which are controlling uh, the on and off of all the outlets and then down in here you can hardly see is my bank of uh, plugins for my temp sensor so on the proto board it's it's kind of the plug-in for all of these plus I have my RTC back there somewhere I'm really leaning forward here I don't hope I don't push a tank over but it's back in there so I have my RTC circuit hooked up on that proto board as well then we have my step downs this is a step down for 12 volt that's what's powering my Arduino board at the moment and then the 5 volt step down the 5 volt step down is powering my uh, relay board which is down below the tank and I will show you that in a moment this is the hub here's my pH and then this is the Ethernet port that goes down to my relay box and then the power I'm also going to power the pH time the pH stamp here from this out uh, from this uh, 5 volt as well so basically it's nice and clean now projects coming along now I just have to work on getting the coating working. There's some uh, some things that I need to take care of. Isolating the pH, as I mentioned, is one of them. And then uh, I have to figure out how to get the LED programs working together. I have a sunrise sunset program, but also I have a program where I can control it, but they don't work well together right now. So here we go. So right here you can work your dimming values of each channel so you can get a nice blend together, but it does not work well uh, work with the dimming program just yet. And I'm having trouble figuring that out. I keep hitting brick walls there. So I will eventually get that taken care of. Let's go down below and I'll show you where I have my outlet box mounted. Okay as you can see I was able to mount my outlet box above so kind of gives me a natural drip loop if anything flows down. My reservoir over here as you can see I need to fill that up. I've only got a gallon and a half in there right now so I gotta get that filled before that fries and then I got all my supplies over here so this is working out really well general idea was to keep it all self-contained in this one big thing I got the sump behind the picture frame and then I've got my re uh, reserve uh, auto top off there power in the center supplies on the right everything's working out good here and I'm gonna just keep plugging away have a good one everybody comment rate subscribe